kind of give you guys an update. Uh, a lot is happening across Southwest Florida. And for those who are asking what's happening right here mm -hmm. at Wink News, uh, of course, we are on air for you, trying to give you guys the most up-to-date information, especially during these trying times. But we want to give you a little walkthrough because our station did flood. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some, uh, this is why we're in here right now. So Wink News anchor Lindsay Sablon is, S Lindsay Sablon is going to give you a walkthrough of our station and what's happening here. We are standing in one of the side parking lots here at Wink News right in downtown and you can see this is now what's right out front of our gate. The Surf Pro Disaster Recovery Team. They were here Thursday morning. Keep in mind we were still dealing with the storm Wednesday night, so way less than 24 hours. This is now one of our areas where we can get a little bit of rest and respite. They brought in two trailers for us to utilize um, whenever you have a moment because here we are nine days later and we are still going wall to wall. So it's kind of a construction zone in here. Uh, TV might be a little bit ugly, and I'm going to have to probably speak up because you can hear we are now working in a work zone. Actually, look right here. All the amazing teams. Hi, thank you for helping us out with SurPro cleaning everything up. This is that side entrance you walk in, and then here is our newsroom. Joseph, be careful. We've got a lot of the different fans drying everything out here. So here's the newsroom. Room. The flooring is gone, and if you that used to all be carpet, but of course this all flooded. Even Thursday morning when our managers came in, they said it was still flooded. Just to give you a sense, here's my foot. You can see how much drywall they had to cut out, and everybody's belongings. A lot of our crews still haven't been back in, so you can kind of see. Here are the different pods, and they're just scattered with different things. When the night of Ian, we actually when we got pushed out and flooded out of the studio. We were Facebook living right there at the assignment desk, one of the only elevated places. Otherwise, the newsroom totally flooded, and now we are still working. Our radio station, I saw uh, Fox on this morning. Here's where we normally do our newsroom shots. You can see cameras still functional because those were elevated, but down on the ground, again, our drywall is gone so if you were to try to track something right now which we can't do you'd hear it here's a look down the hallway where you can see just everything being dried out by the crews with serve pro thanks guys for getting us back on we appreciate it okay we're gonna see if we can go into the studio um, edit is functioning upstairs and we are going back a couple decades now in time edit was running up a usb from down here upstairs or they were grabbing it from upstairs rather running it down to the control room and that's how we were doing some video let's peek in here and see what's going on with the studio i think they might still be in a press conference so let's look are you guys in a press conference okay so the studio they're in a press conference right now yeah, are you guys in a press conference? So you can see, hi Taylor, hi Russ, there's our two anchors on right now, getting to sit. Weather, that was totally blown out. Tell me if you guys are gonna come back. Um, so there's nothing available in weather. Here's what we did, we got creative. This is now the weather setup and where our team is going to be doing everything. Um, some of the lights in the studio on the right side, all of those aren't working. But for the most part, most of our monitors are functional. You notice we are using now some of our photographers gear on tripods instead of the studio cameras but the studio we were able to be back in here were we here Monday night is that right Monday night yeah Monday night so here's our studio cameras not even sure what's going on with those now um, but yeah that's the studio still back at home I didn't realize how good it was gonna feel to be back at home we were at that transmitter site when I walked in here Tuesday morning it felt good let's go one more place and see what it looks like um, in the production booth should we check that out and then we'll be done okay so let's go over there we're coming to check it out this is where one of the areas that we were going upstairs on Wednesday night can see all of this even here the drywall having to be all cut out this of course some of this was under construction already our water pallets because Lee County is still under a boil water notice less or more than a week later and here all of our servers check out that cleaning everything up and making sure it's all okay 
More teams working to make sure everything gets back up and running. Thank you for the work you guys are doing. And then you can see here, we'll pop in while they're listening. These are the folks in the booth. Was there any damage in here, Doug? There was damage in here, water and flooding. Yeah, for a while we couldn't get vises and stuff running, but so far everything going good, and you can see it's pretty much all hands on deck. We're kind of creating shows on the fly and still doing wall-to-wall -wall coverage and changing things up, adapting as we are responding after Hurricane Ian. Right. So, Commissioner Ray, you want to